Y'all waited in the stream for four hours? There's no way. These are not this pressed. There's no way y'all waited here for four hours. Oh my god. It can't be. My fault. Alright, it's finally here. Let me see what they're talking about. Don't watch that black liquid you was drinking. It's not black. Open your eyes and drink the fucking coffee or whatever you call it. It's green. Man's really hyped about Fortnite. Chat, I can successfully say that is one thing that I never got into. Despite how popular it is, I never, I've never in my whole life played a single game of Fortnite. Not once. Like, that's one trend I've been able to avoid. That's the only thing. See, look, niggas calling Fortnite cringe. I'm not calling it cringe. I just never played it. I'm surprised I was able to go, like, eight... I don't know how many years the game has been out and not have played it. Like, not even a level of interest. I've seen footage. I've seen people go crazy while playing it. I've never had an interest in it. What the fuck is this? Y'all shut the fuck up! No leave me alone thoughts. They want to end me. Shut up, menace you. I'm Alright, all this cause Kay decided to ban niggas. All her fault. I've seen this game before. What is this? It low key looks kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. Astro Bot? Is this already out? Oh, hell no. Game is crazy. Hi everyone, I'm Nicholas Dusset, the studio head at Team Asobi. We couldn't be happier with the reception to Astrobot and to see how much joy Astro is bringing to homes all around the world. Oh, On behalf of Team Asobi, thank you so much. Now we still have a few surprises up our sleeves. Today's trailer was a sneak peek at the DLC we we'll release later this year at no additional. Should I even look at this if I plan on playing the base game? Cost. We'll have more to share soon. But for now, oh, let's enjoy that's crazy. the state of play. Nobody ever be doing that. Listen to Appreciate me, you, big me. Bird Call one. me meat. If you're intending to walk the midnight walk, you better be sure to keep your spark safe and burning. While I was in the black, I had a dream. I don't even give a fuck about the footage. Show, give me the soundtrack. There was a monster in the woods. And on you go. Like I'm trying to see what that's like. Jacob, Jacob, I'm going to tell you right now. I don't know what niggas you've been in contact with that made you felt like you could say some shit like that and, and, and get away with it unprovoked. As soon as that game dropped, I'm dropping 50 on you. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why niggas think they nice at games that they've never played before. And like I don't have 10, 20 years already into Tenkaichi in the series already, bro. It's not going to go the way you think. It's not going to go the way you think. I'm just going to be dead ass. You're going to be on your knees worshiping, begging for forgiveness. I'm, going, I'm just going to be 100% honest with you, bro. You don't want those problems. You don't want it. I'm just saying. Charming little wanderer, where are you off to now?
I love games that look like this because they stick to a theme and they just they, they it reminds me of that one movie y'all remember nine I think that's the name of it it's like so dystopian it's so like apocalyptic and, and secluded and lonely and it sticks to that like the whole time bro and so it was that the burnt one and a small flame but I'm more interested took in the soundtrack down give me that the midnight walk the midnight walk See, that's some shit I would play, like, in my free time, just because I'm bored. I'm going to try to play more games like that. I feel like I've been missing out. Moonhood? Child, I'm comfy. I got I don't my toes remember out. when it happened, but I remember how I felt. Fuck? Father told us to hide when they came to our house. Then... Took him away. Mother said I couldn't play outside anymore. Damn. Everyone had fled. Oh shit. She said the country was sick. But we would be okay. Please don't tell me some of the zombie Mother movie, bro. Always Please. Said monsters didn't exist. I thought they lived under my bed. No more zombies, we bro. were both wrong. They live inside our heads. Quite the hole. Wait, it's different. Don't I have an idea slash suggestion? Since this is different. like imagine if Peter's anti-venom suit made him evil also to the person that asked me if we could do a long legs live watch I really want to but I just don't know how it would go I'm gonna try to see if there's something I could do we'll see it's hard but we'll see if I could try something I don't know my story is a tale of rules rewritten by nuclear fire I'm interested in that game though oh hey Serda. Have you seen Yana? Something happened. She's in no state to be wandering out in the metro alone. I need to go after her. Their bodies arranged in some sort of ritual. Please, just let Yana be all right. What is that? That ain't scary. I keep hearing other voices on the radio. You said there were people there. I'm not scared. Did you not hear any of that? Yana. Is that you? The one, the one, the one. I'm seeing things. Hearing things. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Sometimes we need to become the thing we fear. What if you can't see what you to fear? To prevent something worse. Ah. Uh, Metro Awakening looks ass. Let's keep it moving. Sky tragedy. Long ago. You know what's crazy about this frame? They've done this so much in video games, it don't even make me feel nothing no more. Like, okay, you got a hanging by a tree. Excuse me. I don't like it don't move me. Like, I don't know what they expect this shot to do. Oh, you humans slaughtered each other until the whole world lay in ruins. This is nice though. And yet. You have been granted another chance in Aurora. It must be the will of your beloved mother goddess. However, I still have no trust in your kind.
yourself. If you survive this trial... Perhaps you might become one of us. How y'all feeling about that? Kind of giving me a God of War kind of little tinge to it with like a Hogwarts graphical design. It looks like they got different types of uh, fighters that you can use too. What is this? Much love, long time viewer on here for the first time. I appreciate you, man. Hope you enjoy your stack. Oh, is this Power World? Oh, okay. Yeah, I heard they got sued. I, I was surprised they got away with what they got away with for as long as they got away with it for. Also, I really want to see a Pokemon movie again. Sometime in my life that makes me feel something. They beat the case? Cute ass game on my face. Thanks to Pocket Pair for that new look at Pal World. I thought she was going somewhere else with that statement. I'm gonna just fast forward, UG. Magical thoughts. All things are real unless you dream they're not in your dreams. Love is the plot. Why was I watching this for so long? I think the music was enchanting. Carried on wings of hope. Lunar Remastered Collection brings together Lunar, the Silver Star Story Complete, and Lunar 2, Eternal Blue Complete, with updated visuals, widescreen. <laughs> Nick has said updated visuals. Screen mode. But I fuck with it though. And more. Instantly we see it, the time to grow and be it, when everything is pinned on a Lunar Remastered Collection comes to PS5 and PS4 in spring 2025. You expect me to play a game that looked like that on my PS5? See, that's my problem. Two updates on Teenage Nah, this is my game. Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. I mean, not this, but this particular style right here. This is my First, game. the Radical Reptiles DLC, which adds Mondo Gecko and Mona Lisa as playable characters. And for no extra cost, I'm about to get fucked up. A remixed in game soundtrack featuring some amazing guest composers. Both of these updates arrive later today. I wish, I wish Beautiful Joe wasn't on Nintendo, bro. I would so be down for that game to be on PS5, like new gen consoles. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, wait. Let, hold on. Let's lock in. See the fur on that bitch. Uh -huh. Wait, what are y'all doing? I've taken on another form. Why he look like that? And yes, you heard right. Keanu Reeves is joining Sonic X Shadow Generation oh, yeah, as ready. part of the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie pack. Levels, this good. update is inspired by scenes from the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie and arrives December 12th. The Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie pack is included in the digital deluxe edition which lets you play the game three days ahead of its October 25th release date. So they saying that we not gonna have this level on release date though, is what they saying. How you gonna show that and then just move on? Hello, State of Play. I am Skatta, Pandame, Tanshiki Battle, State of Monia, Love you though. We're just over there in Electronic Arts for an extended look at a climactic battle. Let me see some. 
blow my pants off. I mean, my We've gotten um, word from the wardens. socks off. Have they found Gillenane? Not yet, but they found something else worth killing. One of her blighted dragons. Rook, you made it. Good. Not fucking with it, bro. Everybody's under 5-1. Wouldn't miss it. We have unfinished business with that dragon. Oh no, I think it's just her. We've tracked it to a ruined tower nearby. That lair is a death trap. We need to lure her out to have any chance. Who is her? So we challenge her. Draw the dragon out into the open. Right. Then attack. Okay. Oh, it's a dragon game? All this for a dragon? Just you and me now. Why you hate me? What I do? Everyone! Oh, you under fire. Get ready! Wardens! Ready, ballistas! I just want to see the design of the monster. This will, this will determine whether or not I'm interested further. She an elf? Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely not. Come on! Come on! I'm docking points. Come on. Y'all, all that work for this nigga? He ain't even big enough to deserve all that. He like this. All right. Yeah, you lost me. Oh wait, hold on. Let me see. Let me look at the combo. Nah, y'all not moving me. It's not horrible though. They just not moving me. Oh yeah, they lost me. My brain can only handle like so much information, bro. They just put me in an infinite void. Yeah, no, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm good. It's just this style of game. I just, I don't know what, like, I don't know what they got to do to, like, really reel me back. You need to, you need to have, like, opponents and enemies with, like, maybe have a talking dragon. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Some opponents with personality that, that talk shit back to me. In concept, I really did enjoy what was going on in Wukong in concept. Just functionality wet the bed. Dragon! Press the attack! Bring that first one down! Got a nigga named Chuck in the game? How long is this trailer? Well, it is called Dragon Age in their defense. It is called Dragon Age in their defense. Attack, roll, watch, attack, roll. Yeah, I get bored of that. This isn't the Bureau's first time in Bright Falls. Okay, what we got here? The FBC's research department set up a facility. The Lake House. If I had any clue what was waiting for us in there, I would have just kept on driving. Show me something. Those are people. I guess I'm scared. So like, what is the, okay? So keep in mind, I don't remember me playing Alan Wake at all. I remember playing it like on an original 360, like years and years and years ago. But what? When did the second one come out? I d I dead don't remember.
Maybe I played the second one too and I just don't remember. Give up the firearm! Just cut. Nah, what was that? Give up the firearm! You let him do that to you? Is this Hitman VR? Is that a frying pan? Okay, yeah. Speaking of, I gotta finish that. Chat, just chill, bro. Few know the truth. I Five. stood with Cain Five. and my brethren Five. until I had the honor of surpassing my lord. For my transgression, Ew. I earned a new kind of reward. Agony. Bro, your jaw is missing. The fate of this world was preordained in an instant. What madness is this? Am I so changed? I was not prepared for what lay beyond this threshold. The future has always been written. Mastered arrives December. T Happy for you, though. You sure we can't just do the same? Games from house? the original PlayStation no. era also inspired cool. Fear the Spotlight from Blumhouse Games. It brings away? atmospheric oh, polygonal yeah, scares this. to PS5 and PS4 on October 22nd. <laughs> Damn, bitch. Just go home, Viv. I'm happy here. <laughs> so happy. Yeah, that was a recent At last, release. we've returned to our ancestral land, a gas block. Build villages and nurture vast ecosystems in Towers of Agazba. Bro, this is not why I bought a PS5. I'd be forgetting, though, I can't play these games on PC. This is not why I built a PC. This colorful world includes unique creatures, a peculiar cast of characters, what the fuck? and also what allows you to say? a peculiar cast of characters, fuck. and also allows you to invite other players to visit your island. Towers of Agazba launches into early access this November. Yeah, I'm cool, bro. Up next. Epic Games brings a split-screen mode to LEGO Fortnite this October. Oh my god. This feature is... <laughs> they say, hey, Sean, if you didn't like Fortnite, wait till you hear this. Enables friends and family to explore the I'm world and up. build villains. In another I'm Fortnite chilling. news, the new Fortnite Limited Edition DualSense wireless controller arrives later this year with pre-orders starting October 3rd. Cool. Next. It's one versus 1,000 in Dynasty oh. Warriors Origins. And Koei Tecmo Games is ready to share the release date. Let's take a look. Bro, what, what Dynasty Warriors is this, like 85? Guardian of Peace, you have crossed paths with men who may one day bring about order. Until then, 
You must adapt to the chaos and find a way to survive. Right. So choose your path wisely. Oh Go forth and learn what it means to be a hero. <laughs> I think it's be getting fucked up every game but i feel like this is like the fast and the furious to regular niggas like you're gonna do the same thing i feel like in every game maybe graphically each year it might just look a little bit better you know <laughs> don't get me wrong i'm down to just slay an entire army but i'm just not in that mode if i want to i'll do shadow of mordor you know what i'm saying they should drop another one of those games you claim to strive for justice but have no way to achieve it Tearing down the system without providing an alternative is mere wanton destruction. <laughs> this shit is so crazy! He's juggling hundreds of people! What are we doing? die has been cast all that remains is to see this through oh my god i'm not above this if i just want to you know what i'm saying turn my brain off because anybody who knows me you know that I had my era with this game called Lord of the Rings Conquest. It was just like this, basically. I was in love. I know one of y'all buying it. Don't be low. Still hoping that I imagined the whole thing. It's burned into my mind. Capcom. So, Captain, what's oh, your team been getting up to? It. The guild gave special assignments it's to Monster some of the Hunter. other units in the expedition. Mine included. Give me more info. Oh, this forest is amazing. It's the one. This is the one. The water currents to surge too. Show me some. This is its territory. And we're intruders. I don't know why I'm saying all this like I'm not gonna get lost. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Free 200 gigabytes. Liking that. Show me the big monster. That's it. The white wraith. It's real. Is that what we're after? The white wraith. Out there. Someone's in trouble. It seems we must do a more thorough investigation. What is that thing? An extinct species. You're a hunter. You've got a weapon, and you do nothing? Oh, that look cold. Give it to me, and I'll... We'll die. I'll... I'm locked 
locked in. I'm locked in. Whoa! I feel like that's too early. Surely they can't be finished. God damn. That's less than six months from now. Are they really about to do me like this?皆さんこんにちは。ご参加ワイルズプロデューサーの坪戸です。本作の発売日が2025年2月28日世界同日発売に決定いたしました。本日より順次予約を開始しますので、ぜひご予約いただければと思います。プレイステーションストアでご予約
Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh, cool. Cool. Like, here's a new PS5. Same amount of games. Like, what are we? What am I doing? Why would I buy these? What's the incentive, bro? I haven't seen a single game. Well, don't get me wrong. I've seen two, three games. You know what I'm saying? Seen two or three. Hi, everyone. I'm Mark Cerny. We recently revealed the newest addition to the PlayStation 5 family, PS5 Pro, alongside several... I saw that, and I almost threw my current PS5 out the window. What did they say? 700 retail price? I don't think we have a storage upgrade, uh, a mini SSD that comes with the console. Not that you'll be able to, you know, use it for anything because, you know, PlayStation, you know what I'm saying? Despite having some games, it's been, it's been like, how long? How many years since the uh, actual PS5 came out? What, like four? Going on five years? It's like, dude, how are we on Pro? I don't understand that. Several games showcasing the superior frame rates and improved graphics that the new console doesn't come with a disk drive. How much is the disk drive? So the console itself is seven hundred dollars base without a disk drive. So eighty dollars for a disk drive. Like the pro is supposed to do everything that the base model is doing but do more and better and more efficient. They basically said, if you want to own anything phys physical, not only are you going to have to keep your old console, but you're going to have to buy a disk drive if you want to upgrade to the pro version. Also, what's the benefit of the pro? Tell me. Console makes possible. With PS5 Pro, developers have access to three key improvements. An upgraded GPU, advanced ray tracing, and AI-driven upscaling that combine to bring developers closer to realizing their unique vision. They said upscaling. We're excited for players to get their hands on PlayStation 5 Pro when it launches this November. So you have no reason to do this. But in the meantime, here's a look at some of the games that are being enhanced for the new console, including a few titles that we're revealing for the very first time today. They're treating US like Xbox servers. I don't remember how I felt going from Xbox 360 uh, to PS4. That was my pivot. I always grew up as a PlayStation individual. You know what I'm saying? My whole life for the most part. I'm lying. I started out with Nintendo. I think most people started out like Sega Nintendo era. And then as I got older, I started doing the PlayStation shit. You know what I'm saying? PlayStation, PlayStation 2, Golden Era. Golden Era. Then PS3. Um... Oh no, I switched to Xbox 360 after PS2, and I enjoyed my years on Microsoft. Don't get me wrong, I loved my years. They had a huge catalog. I stayed with my 360 until it got red-ringed. Never thought it would happen to me, but it did, bro. I had that bitch for at least, I want to say about five, six years. It was good to me. It was real good to me. Then I transitioned to PS4, and the first game I got for PS4 that really made me hop on it uh, was, I think, a racing game. Trials and Xenoverse, the Dragon Ball game. And I remember as I kept playing more and more, more games kept getting released, you know? But I saw that Microsoft was doing something crazy. I think Xbox 720 came out or Xbox One at the time. I don't remember what it was, but like, I saw their game catalog just start going insane. It was starting to go crazy. What was the reason if for the Zero was an Xbox exclusive? Would you buy a whole Xbox just to play Sparking Zero? I would. I would. I'm not going to lie. If Sparking Zero was exclusive to Xbox, the sales would go up crazy and I would buy a console just to play that game. Little do you know I bought a uh 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 what do you call it? I bought a Xbox and I'm 
down. I just don't remember what system I played it on. Was Xbox was was Sonic Frontiers exclusive to Xbox or or no? Am I tripping? Am I thinking of a different game? There was a game that made me buy it or made me get it on Xbox. And I don't remember when I bought my Xbox. I don't remember which game it was that I bought my Xbox for, but I did buy it for one game in particular. But it had the ability to play a whole bunch of other games too, though. But I don't know what my incentive for getting a PS5 was. I know Miles Morales came out as an exclusive for Sony. But there was not a game that I had immediately on my mind when I got the console. Years removed, I could look on my my, my PS5 now, and I probably got a total of like maybe 10 games that I bought since I got the console. Now they want me to get a PS Pro or PS5 Pro, and I still feel the same way about the catalog. Both, my, most of my game library is PS4, most of it. losing me bro this is nice we are beyond the edge of Japan okay I'm down for the Japanese games bro Take the money, I don't care what it People is. People come north to disappear. I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm not gonna try. Yote. Yote. But you. Bleed. You are hunting. Oh my god, I'm out, wolf. And now, every Ronin here. Is after you. Okay, samurai game. Still think you're the hunter. No. Are you dead ass? Yo, I think they're serious. Yo! Are they really doing a second game? Okay! That's a nice surprise! to get Ghost of Tsushima too? Dot crazy thing is Xbox forced the Xbox One with the Kinect. Be so We're gonna make you pay a fee for used games on top of already paying for it. Took off backwards compatibility and other features. They said stay on the 360 if you don't FW it's SMH. Hey. Nah, I actually, oh, I hate this now, bro. I will, like.
I'm ready. They about to say some bullshit, bro. They about to say 2027. Christmas. Okay. You spoke too soon about okay. exclusives. You can't even spell, you stupid bitch. But what I will say is I didn't speak too soon. This is one exclusive, bro. Just chill. But this is good. This is definitely good. 2025. I don't know how I feel about it, though. Like, I feel good. Don't get me wrong. It's just like, how long am I going to have to wait? You know? Ghost of Tsushima. I think whole way through. I just haven't played the DLC for it yet. But I played that game off stream. I was, I was trying to max it out. That's one of the few games that I tried to platinum. They got me. They got me. They got me. I mean, out of everything I saw, it's just Monster Hunter World and Ghost. Um, maybe the Astro Bot game. DLC was pretty good. I still haven't played the DLC. Maybe we do the DLC before the game actually comes out. Like when we actually get a date. Astro, wait, Astro Bot tonight? You want me to play Astro Bot? I mean, fuck, we could try it. Hey. Who are these niggas? I'm cool, bro. Like, I get what y'all doing, and I know, and I support you. Oh, wait, they were talking about Ghost? Uh, sort of Monkey Island DLC. Damn, I should have listened. Uh, I don't want to go back. Uh, and then it got some patches and stuff like that, but mostly that game's kind of been... It's it's been done and dusted and kind of in, you know, off to the side. It's a classic. It's awesome. But I kept waiting to be like, what is next from Sucker Punch? I can't wait to see what they do next on dedicated PS5 hardware and now PS5 Pro hardware. This is the kind of thing that made me immediately go, okay, yeah, now I'm now you're twisting my arm on getting a PS5 Pro. Nigga, you're not twisting shit. I'm not getting an eight hundred dollar console for one fucking game. I don't know. I don't know what the marketing strategy for that console is, but you're not getting me with one fucking game, dog. I will comfortably play on my shitty ass console and be just fine, or I'll switch to PC completely. Imagine, like the shots in this trailer, especially. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that one shot of the mountain was just like yeah. so cool. It illustrates if the you, scale. Yeah, it was beautiful. I plan, I'm, about, I'm about to switch my motherboard in a couple weeks anyway, so it could take up to two uh, two terabytes of RAM. I'll be good on PC. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it just immediately gave me goosebumps. Like, I cannot wait for this game. This is exactly why I play video games. Games like this. Like, this is what it's all about. Looked incredible. I don't, it's also, I don't, it's also I don't like perfect timing. It, it's perfect timing with, with this game because, so one, I did a quick uh, search. Ghost of Tsushima takes place in 13th century Japan, mm. whereas this looks like it's taking place in 17th century. So nearly 400 years later, and one of the big shows that came out this year was Shogun, which yeah. takes mm -hmm. place very near the end of the Sengoku era of Japan. So I still haven't watched that show either, Chad. I watched the first 30 minutes of the first episode and never went back to it. Not to say it was bad. I just, my attention span with that show just went to shit. We are seeing a Japan that is slowly inching towards modernization. So I'm, I think we're going to see some like gunfire weapon, like some like, um, like black powder gun, gunpowder and stuff like that. So, uh, if you watch Shogun and you want more of that, this looks like it's going to be in that same vein, which is very exciting. I really liked how they did the interior sections there too, like that. that. Please watch it. It's a work of art. I mean, I, I want to. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. I'm. You know what I'm saying. I'm gonna try. I got a list of stuff that I need to watch recently, but I I've had the opportunity to, and I just haven't been doing it, bro. The, that that bar like restaurant situation there looked great. What were you saying, Jada? Oh, I was just saying. I don't even know what to say. You guys have like covered all the great points about this game. It looks fantastic. It totally makes sense now with Nick's point about it being you know basically 400 years later while we're getting a new character i know a lot of people were very attached to jin sakai and especially you know us that you know love to go into the take a little soak in the you know the little baths and just take a little <laughs> bath mm -hmm. out there and reflect <laughs> on things i'd rather not see jin's ass anymore i'm gonna be honest though now that they jogged my memory like this would be a much better situation i would i would say uh it'll be interesting to see how they handle that but yeah like the wolf 
the wolf looks fantastic. I can't wait to see how that works into gameplay. I think there were so many elements where in Tsushima there was dual guards you were trying to take out, and they, you know, Jin had the ability to kind of take out multiple people quickly, but this kind of looks like they're going to give you almost the, like what we got with Nyx out of Star Wars Outlaws, where you can kind of split the attention and kind of do that. So, like, I'm all about having those little friendly familiars, little 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 buddies, little wolf bud that's just going to be gnawing the if, crap if, out of people. It's going to be you, great. You get an attack wolf, and it will probably have its own skill tree and everything. You can train it yeah. to do cool tricks and maul people. I'm, I'm so in on that. Like, I didn't even need that element, but sure. That's just, that's icing on the cake on top of everything else. Like, God, the the original, I I played, uh, I played like half of the original game in the Kurosawa mode. Okay. And so the second we saw this black and white footage, I was like, it's back. Ghost is back. Where this is it. This is all over again. Like, they, they nailed it. Well, I'm here to play it, bro. Whenever it drops... Whenever in 2025 they decide to, you know what I'm saying, push that red button, I'm here for it, you know. Um, I enjoyed my first little playthrough on it. We played it on Lethal, though. I think I'm going to do the same, t the same thing this time around, you know. It was... Man. Lethal was crazy. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Leading that game on Lethal is different. Especially when Mark Cerny was kind of like, all right, here's something. The Lethal wasn't out when the game first dropped. I didn't cry, but I did beat it on Lethal. It took a part of my soul. Stuff coming to PS5 Pro. But uh, most of this presentation today like, didn't really mention the Pro until the last few people already getting mad the same way they did with the Assassin's Creed game. There's no way. Why? Because the main character is a woman? It you cannot be that serious, bro. In the last few minutes, really. And then seeing this, I was like, you know, what I will say, Assassin's Creed, the new version from the from the from the shit that I've seen, it looks like it's going to play like ass. Graphically speaking, it don't look that impressive. And the gameplay to me looks choppy and slow as shit in comparison to previous Assassin's Creed games. So if niggas wanted to look at the game and be like, yo, I'm not getting this game because I think it looked like shit. I would agree because God damn, I do not like the way that game looks at all. But the reason why people were upset about it was really ridiculous. And if that's the same case here, it's actually insane, especially considering I have complete faith in the company that developed what they developed with the first Ghost of Tsushima. It, it looks it looks fantastic. It played fantastic. So I don't expect there to be any difference here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is going to be one of those games you're going to want. You're going to want the benefit of better hardware for and it's expensive, it's pricey, doesn't come with a disk drive. I'm still annoyed about a couple of things there, but man, they're going to start I to mean, give me a couple of reasons to get that thing, aren't they? Yep. I mean, that shot of running through the fields on, with all the horses. This bitch talking is tripping. The, the nigga that just spoke a second ago, he's tripping. I don't know why he pushing that. And everything, like, that just looks so gorgeous. Just in, you know, we're watching it fed back, like, non- How, how you could even say that with a straight face you're considering getting the console and there's a game that's making you consider getting it when the company that made it literally said we're going to strip the disc drive that would normally come with the console just so we can sell it separately to you for an additional 80 dollars stop native that's the scummiest thing i ever heard where yeah. how it's going to look on our consoles like it's going to look even better when we're playing it like i cannot wait that's like, so crazy bro and, and it's super evocative of like that horse shot i wouldn't be surprised if that was the kind of opening of the game because if this you... looks gorgeous man 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 and ghost had a pretty good soundtrack too from what i remember you remember at the original Ghost of Tsushima, the mm -hmm. kind of late title card. It if this is the POV that we, it was, it was good. I'm gonna have to, I might have to replay it just to, just to like reminisce and 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 appreciate all the aspects of it that I thought were so great because it really was a gorgeous looking game for its time too. Is Jin riding through the um, like the meadow, running his hands yep. through the crops and whatnot? It's evoking a very similar vibe, and it just it looks stunning and as brian said it looks like a, a reason to own a ps5 pro stop mm -hmm. um, i'm assuming better resolution and better frame rate overall so sign me up because i'm a more unfo leads. unfortunately i am a, i am a graphic snob through and through so how could you say that and then i'm lost 
And so then I, I guess, it, you know, Brian, I, you really got to pay attention to like who's saying what, because how you literally just skip over the fact that this game will be released on PC. I don't know how long after it is announced on console, but how you are a graphics nerd and then and say, I'm still going to get good. this game it's on console. How does that come out of your mouth in the same sentence? I don't know. We that. talked about this. I, Appreciate I the believe sub. it was, was it just last week? Um, oh, wait, is it going to be on PC? They didn't say that. Is the original Ghost of Tsushima on PC or no? We, we talked about, or was it two weeks ago? Uh, we talked about the PS5 Pro and- Two years? Oh yeah, I'm about to shoot myself. And, and I know- In a video game. You were you were on the fence. Well, you said no, you, you weren't gonna do it. You I'm still not get copping it, but a now, PS5 Pro. With this game, and of course, cu coupled with the fact that they're producing a, a fair amount of, I guess, grayscale 30th anniversary <laughs> PS5 Pros, are you are you gonna get it now? Like, what's you, your stance no, you, on, on you it now? You can do it. You can call me out. Like, I I, I was <laughs> I was I was you on say, the fence no. on the Pro, and then the uh, then the wave of nostalgia came over with the with the 30th anniversary PS. I did see that. I did see that, and I'm gonna be honest, that anniversary PS5. I don't know if that was a pro version or if it was just a standard version. I I looked at it for a second and I GTA 6 is gonna be console exclusive for like one or 1.5 years at least. People would definitely buy the pro for the best experience. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I'm not getting that shit. But when I looked at the 30th anniversary, you know what I'm saying, model, I, I looked, you know what I'm saying, and I was like. Father, what was that sermon that you preached about temptation the other day? You know, I got a little, you know, I got a little tingly. PS1 colors, and I was like, man, now I got to. Maybe I'll just get the controller. A timer on my alarm on my phone to try and try and get that. If it doesn't happen, whatever. If it sells out, because they're, <laughs> they're, they're only making like 12,000 of them or something stupid yeah. like that. Like, it's honestly dumb that they're not making more of those. Um, <laughs> I'll just, I'll, I'm going to continue to call it's them out down while also <laughs> yeah, getting my credit card at them. And, and but, I got to say, while, yeah. while, while, while this was an impressive uh, one more thing, I was hoping that they were actually going to reveal the pricing for uh, that 30th anniversary um, as like the one more thing, like just drop it real quick. It, they didn't drop it? Hey, yo, bro, stop talking about the PS5, bro. This is about Ghost of Tsushima. It's something that is going to be future proof. Then obviously we know that stuff is coming, but I'll be honest with you, like a lot of this generation as a PlayStation fan has felt sort of Wait, was that it? repetitive. You know, like there's been a couple of like bangers and I'm sitting up here thinking like there's more to the to the state of play. There's no way that there's I mean, is there more? Or is that just the all of the state of play? That's it. We seen everything. The state of play was 30 minutes. Bro, this is what I'm saying. The state of play is 30 minutes long. How few, like, how small of amounts of content, like, do you have? And then justifying the price for a new console, bro. Like, I'm going to need a little bit more. 30 minutes is crazy. Considering this event only comes around once a year, I think. I might, I might have just lied. But come on, man. That's insane. I want to see. I want to hear about Wolverine, cause that game's been teased for mad long. I want to hear about a Spider-Man Two DLC. I want to hear all types of shit. How we get How a date? How we get a date for Ghost Two before Wolverine? That's facts. I want more, bro. I, I, I'ma just need more, bro. I'ma need more. You can't just keep hitting me with these like upgrades and new prices, and then no games. Let me look at that. Let me look at that 30th anniversary PS5 though, real quick, just to show y'all what I what like almost made me consider maybe potentially, like almost. <laughs> see, they got me only because I looked and I didn't see that this was the pro version. I'm not gonna lie. I like, I'm not crazy just for getting the controller. I'm dead not crazy. Bro. PlayStation 5 Pro Console bundle includes Pro Console, wireless controller, 
dual edge wireless controller. So it's two different types of control. I don't understand that. Dual sense charging station, console cover for the disk drive, but the disk drive is sold separately. So you get a cover for a drive that's sold separately and a vertical stand. Shit don't make no sense to me. It just doesn't. Also, we are completely committed to USB-C now. So no more USB drives. The console itself don't look that crazy, but the controller actually looks fantastic. Look, I like the fact that everybody's transitioning and shit like that, but I got the, I got the, listen, I got an iPhone 16, right? And I only got this because I had a free upgrade. Like I might as well. I hadn't gotten another phone in like the last two years. I look at the bottom and you know what I'm saying? The port is specifically for USB-C now. And I think that's great for charging capabilities and transference of files and everything like that. I think that's awesome. But then I really sat back and analyzed and like, yo, how much of my shit only uses USB like regular? And then like how many shits I have Tax to buy for, controller, I am getting the for controller USB C to broken. USB is just like insane. Like straight out the box. This bitch don't come with its own with its own brick. It's literally just a USB C cord with no brick. It's actually crazy. I gotta, I gotta re, I gotta re, I gotta rework my whole life in order to accommodate the new situation that y'all are trying to introduce.